Recent national and international studies show that sustainable and responsible traveling is of high interest for travelers. For example, more than 50% want to get reliable information, to stay in environmentally friendly hotels, and to reduce their climate impact and footprint. Certification is the easiest way to give credibility to such information. With a Master in Economics and Tourism, Herbert Hamele has worked since 1985 in tourism, with a focus on sustainability certification and good practices in Europe. Since 1993, he's been President and Director of the European Network for the Development of Sustainable Tourism Ecotrans, based in Germany, and manages the Tourism2030.eu platform for Sustainable Tourism Knowledge Networking. Antonio Nicoletti is the General Director of the Regional Agency for Territorial Development of Basilicata. He is a civil engineer and PhD in urban and regional planning. His main research and professional interests are focused on cultural heritage management for socioeconomic innovation and development in urban contexts. Formerly, he was the Director for Strategic Programs and EU Funds at the Municipality of Matera. He worked as a policy advisor for public administrations at the regional level and city level. In the past, destination marketing was mainly focusing on attracting more visitors and meeting their expectations. But today, more and more destinations follow a more holistic approach, with the ambition to achieve both a high quality of life for the host population across all their activities and a high level of visitors' fulfillment. If a destination wants to market their offer as sustainable tourism, then the Destination Management Organization, or DMO, in close collaboration with their tourism businesses and service providers, needs to focus on two main goals. The destination as a better place to live and a better place to visit. Once a destination has obtained a certificate, a green certificate, then first of all, they shall show the logo, promote the certificate together with a short explanation and together with their own strengths, initiatives and commitment on the website. Then, of course, they should um, give priority in their promotion to those businesses and services which also have one of these uh, many certification programs, preferably a credible one, which is doing third party auditing. And um, regarding the target groups, the destination should give tips. How can their visitors help to maintain and conserve the nature? Of course, by the way, having a nice nature experience and cultural experience, how to contribute to the economic situation in the destination. For example, through preferring local products uh, from agriculture, from organic food products or uh, handcraft products. Altogether, the businesses uh, shall uh, be seen and shall see themselves as stones in a green destination mosaic. And this then can be recognized by the traveler and preferred by the traveler. Our culture, our attitude is naturally bound to environmental protection, for instance, or valorization of what are the um, environmental values, the values of sustainability. And this attitude can be found in the normal activity of entrepreneurs or, or institutions. Um, and this is the reason, one of the main reasons why um, we have uh, green flags, we have blue flags uh, in our uh, coasts. Uh, nearly 90% uh, of Basilicata coastline uh, have been rewarded of the blue flag this season as uh, nearly every year. And um, our villages have the um, orange flag by Natural Tourism Board. Um, and uh, we have uh, six um, among the best villages uh, uh, of Italy. Uh, so um, we don't have formals um, 
territorial certification in terms of sustainability, uh, but we have normal uh, um, awards um, for the activities that we do every day. It's a DMO's key role to work closely with many stakeholders in the destination in search of common goals for a prosperous and environmentally responsible industry and marketplace, one that respects the needs of all stakeholders to achieve positive, successful, and long-term outcomes, including tourists, residents, the tourism industry, and related destination services. We are working uh, with a European project funded by Horizon 2020 a European Programme, which is the programme that finances uh, uh, initiatives that are innovative. Uh, we are uh, promoting a project uh, um, in mainly focused on the north-east uh, of the region, uh, and this project uh, is uh, Mm, targeted at promoting a circular economy and sustainable tourism. Um, what we are doing is um, sharing the message of a circular economy and that and its values uh, with entrepreneurs, with institutions and with people in order to promote sustainability and principles that are very innovative not only in, uh, in Basilicata but uh, all over the world. This is uh, a project we are taking forward with the lead of a National um, Research Council uh, together with a, a transnational uh, partnership and so we are um, paving the path for uh, innovation uh, using the idea of uh, sustainability uh, for uh, uh, not only for promotion but also for uh, the improvement of our offer. Independent sustainable tourism certification gives credibility to the destination and facilitates sustainable empowerment to the staff working in the DMO and in the participating businesses and service providers. Sustainable tourism certification programs are able to increase market access by being known and trusted by the travelers, being recognized as a credible certificate at important market players, supporting the visibility of certified businesses and destinations, supporting the exchange and networking between their certified members, providing their listings of certified tourism businesses to booking services and other intermediaries, and feeding their listings into the common, all-in-one green travel maps. When we talk about certifications and uh, environmental certification or blue flags, or um, the most beautiful villages uh, in Italy, uh, we have very well recognized um, brands that are already known by tourists. So that is very important. It is very important for a um, somehow small de destination like Basilicata to get to reach this kind of uh, uh, main channels uh, where to vehicle our uh, um, uh, messages about the beauty of, of our region, the quality of our beaches, the quality of our villages. Uh, therefore, it is important, uh, um, in our opinion, to um, uh, seek to gain more certification in order to improve uh, the, um, the knowledge about the quality of our places in the world of tourism. Destinations in Europe can choose among various certification programs with different approaches and services. Certified destinations can then support the promotion of their certificate themselves with their sustainable tourism products and services. The assessment of the marketing activities will help to understand the benefits of the tourism offer in the destination and allow them to set realistic goals for promotion and advertising campaigns, such as which target groups will be reached in which countries, which messages should be sent to these target groups, which media best reach the target groups. Any marketing campaign should strive to achieve the following AIDA goals. A to raise the attention of the target groups, for example, with catchy pictures and messages, I, to get their interest. I like what that destination is promising and I want to get more information. D, decision, I want to go there. 
and A. Action. I organize my travel and start booking. The development and operation of a successful marketing campaign ideally involves public authorities, DMOs, private actors, and NGOs, and certifying bodies should be involved in the planning, marketing, and monitoring. Unstructured marketing is simply a waste of time and money. Um, this can include contradicting messages. This uh, unstructured marketing does not use synergies, uh, opportunities for synergies with marketing activities of uh, partners of uh, businesses. And um, how to avoid unstructured marketing or how to improve the situation. I think that uh, there are many consultants out there, independent, uh, highly experienced uh, persons who know the visitor's perspective and which can help um, the different stakeholders with their egocentric thinking sometimes to, uh, let's say, give priority to the visitor's thinking, to their common message and to come up with a more and better consolidated uh, marketing plan and marketing strategy.